cut this all the way down as low as it goes. Number one. I'm gonna just spray it around. Now, I'm out here in the hot sun. Um, and that makes the product dry. You see those little speckle dots? Mm -hmm. To keep that down, I'm gonna mist the pad. That helps keep it from dusting when I'm working in direct sunlight. Okay. Now, how much pressure am I applying there? None, virtually none. Okay. How about now? A lot. Okay. See the setting? Make sure it won't go no further. Make sure it won't go no further. Right. As far as it goes, right? Okay. Now, tell me why the pad ain't black. Uh, I don't know. Was I applying pressure? You look like you are. Absolutely, you're pressure as hard as you could. That's, I had the pad crushed. Yeah. Now, why didn't I burn the paint? <clears throat> this, Carbon. this is a orbital polish. It rotates like you see it doing. See that black line? But it also oscillates. It oscillates up and down. Or actually in a, uh, a circle. circle. So what it's doing is it's spinning and it's also making big circles. It's mimicking the Earth's rotation around the sun. The Earth spins, the Earth makes big circles around the sun. Because this device will not sit still in one spot on the paint, it cannot generate the heat necessary to burn paint. That's what makes it so safe. Add to that the fact that, look at the black line, right. watch the black line. See how slow it's going around? The more pressure I apply, the less work it does. You cannot damage your car with this, but one way. There is one way. If you put some polish on the paint, doesn't matter how much polish you put, any amount at all, and you take the polish up against the car like this and go back and forth, you'll damage the paint. <laughs> That's the only way. All right. That yeah. port cable. That is a port cable. Seventy-four twenty-four. Now, now I'm gonna work that area that I got polish on right there the way it's supposed to be worked. I'm gonna turn this down to a setting of five. I'm gonna use nine to fourteen pounds of pressure, including the weight of the polisher, and I'm gonna work this area. Here I go. See that black mark? See how it's spinning? That's how much pressure I want to use. See how slow I'm going? Because I'm giving the polisher time to work. This is not a powerful polisher. It is an effective and safe polisher. Notice how far I'm staying away from that hinge. much pressure I'm applying. 9 to 14 pounds. So light that I can do it with one hand. Notice how slow I'm going. This does not fix pain. This is exercise and it's lousy exercise. 